Hi everybody, it's Mr Siddons here, here to talk about the Year 9 options video. So let's get started. In front of you, you've got two, what I would say, probably my favourite photographs from the past 10 years, 15 years. And I think this really encapsulates what we GCSE geography is all about. Okay? We're using lots of striking images, really getting to grips with the content and really getting to grips with the world around you. Well, I wanted to start off with why I study geography and in order to get an understanding and appreciation of why we should study it at GCSE, I just want to take a look at some events from 2020. Early on, there was the Australian bushfires, it, you know, pre-COVID times, it captured the hearts and minds of quite a lot of people all around the world. And it happened for many different reasons, notably climate change being one of them. And by studying GCSE geography, it helps us to get to grips with some of the global challenges that we face. And then, of course, we can't talk about the last year without mentioning the pandemic. And the pandemic has a very strong geographical um, point at the, the heart of it and the fact that how global diseases can spread and has it's a legacy of the globalisation. And again, understanding the global issues, the global challenges helps us to, to get the bigger picture on the pandemic. The Black Lives Matter protests that continue to to be the message continues to be heard all around the world. And you know, the, the voice and the the stage that the protests have got is as a result of globalization and some of the geographical concepts that we will study. So again, it's another example of how contemporary events that are going on around you right now, you know, it's such the world is such a fascinating place. This is a fascinating subject. The Beirut explosion, you know, the, the issues, the challenges, the really significant global events, you know, the wildfires in the west coast of the USA and uh, most recently the rollout of the vaccine for COVID-19 and the global effort, the, you know, the different nations all around the world, the governments coming together. So, you know, you can't escape geography. It's up to date, it's relevant, it's exciting, it's adventurous, it's valuable, it's more valuable than ever. You know, so many of the problems I've just discussed boil down to geography. You guys are the geographers of the future. And by understanding GCSE geography, it gives you a real good platform in which to carry your lives forward. You are the geographers of the future, but a really important role on this planet. And Sir David Attenborough, this quote, very, very famous quote from him. It seems to me the natural world is the greatest source of excitement, the greatest source of visual beauty, the greatest source of, source of intellectual interest. It's the greatest source of so much in life that makes life worth living. Is you know, very, very passionate, as we know, about all things in the natural world. And the beauty of the GCSE is that it covers the physical environment and the features of the physical environment and the challenges that the physical environment poses to us and also our humans are interacting with the physical environment and threatening the physical environment. That's unit one of the three units you will study. You can see some of the topics there. Builds on from what you've done at Key Stage 3, building on the rest of the earth work you will have done, looking at natural hazards, the ecosystems, tropical rainforests and deserts as examples of biomes and how humans are, are threatening the tropical rainforests and how we're adapting to some of the conditions that we face. And then the physical landscape of the UK, thinking about the coastal landscapes, how the coastal landscapes are shaped and how the river landscapes have shaped the UK as well. So that's the physical side. The human environment, we look at the challenges that we face with humanity, we've talked about the impact of the global pandemic. We look at how urban changes have occurred in a UK city. We look at Nottingham as a case study there, and we'll complete some field work in Nottingham. And we'll look at a, a newly emerging economy city. We'll look at Mumbai for that. And we widen the study to look at India to understand how economic development has affected India as a country. We also look at the development gap between rich and poor 
countries, why does it exist, what can we do to tackle it? And then we look at one of the, the biggest challenges that we face, that is for resources, availability of resources, of food, of energy, of water, moving forward. You know, how can we overcome some of these challenges? What can we do about our resource consumption? So we're talking about real important contemporary issues. And finally, the third unit is geographical application. So I've talked about the field work. We will conduct two field work visits and have an exam based around that. But we also have the issue evaluation where you will be given a pre-release booklet 12 weeks prior to the exam. And we study the different issues at the heart of it and think about how we might make geographically informed decisions. And then you will write that up in the exam. So some recent year topics have been tropical rainforest, water use in the UK. It's a real important contemporary relevant issues. So that's a bit about the course and a bit about the value of geography and why we should study it. But what qualities do you need? Well, one of the key qualities is having a wide knowledge of what different places are like. You'll develop that. You know, you need to have a competency going into the subject, knowing about the different places, and we will build on that. Also, it's, you know, it is assessed through extended writing. So we looked for you to explain your ideas, the decisions you make, explaining the processes in detail. So you need to be able to handle those sorts of challenges. Um, another aspect is being empathetic and understanding and, and appreciating the different situations people find themselves in and the different challenges that they face and think about how we can use sustainable ideas to overcome them. And then have an understanding of the links between places, between concepts, between ideas, between examples. And then, as I've said, use the skills we develop, these skills of inquiry, these skills of investigation, to make decisions, to make judgments, and then use our communication skills, our written communication skills to bring it all together using the key academic language. In terms of the assessment, it's 100% exam. There are three exam papers. Unit one is an hour and a half, 88 marks, and that's 35% of the total grade. Unit two is exactly the same, 35%. And then unit three, with the pre-release for the first half and the field work questions for the second, that is 30 percent. And then within lessons, we would have you know, the usual experience you have in, in your geography lessons of the retrieval starters, the multiple choice knowledge quizzes, the exam end of topic assessments. But we'll have more of an exam question focus at GCSE. There'll be decision making exercises. It's, it's the same we have at Key Stage 3. So you pick geography at GCSE, where does that lead on to? Well, the next natural step after GCSE is A-levels and then further study at university, either human geography or physical geography or, a, or an aspect of a course linked to geography, geographical thinking. So on the screen, you've got a whole load of different careers, very, very diverse. The obvious one will be a geography teacher, but we know that not everybody wants to become a geography teacher. So you can see there you've got environmental consultants, tourism officers, sustainability consultant, renewable energy consultants. You know, the, the way that the economy and the way that the energy industry are moving towards, you know, big emphasis on sustainability and sustainable solutions to some of the environmental challenges that we face. You may be a climatologist, nature conservation, you know, we're surrounded by beautiful countryside, beautiful rural areas in Derbyshire and beyond in this country. You might may find yourself working for the National Park Authority or the local council responsible for conservation in Shipley Country Park or further afield. If you're interested in architecture, town planning, transport planning, all of this ties very closely with geography. And you'll also see as well that some of them are highlighted in red. And that's because I've got the sort of job profiles for those careers. So if, if some of those careers take your fancy, I've got some uh, fact files of things that those jobs entail. So if you want to give me a shout with that, and then we can uh, talk about some of those roles. And then that just leads on to the final comment from me. And if you want to discuss any aspect of geography, if I teach you, we'll have a chat at the end of the lesson, or if you want to catch me at break time, lunchtime, you can, or if you want to send me an email, there's my email address. So I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible doing GCSE geography next year. Take care, everybody. Thanks very much.